Ah, uh, pull up. Hey Zim Fim, it's Rebecca, and I'm baking today! Now I know you guys know that I cannot bake, and a lot of times when I try to do things, they fail, but today I am making something that I love, and so I'm gonna be trying really hard to make sure that this does not fail. I'm gonna be making a giant chocolate chip cookie! Now I don't know about you guys, but I love chocolate chip cookies. I love when they're soft and warm and gooey, and then dipping them in milk, it's just so good! So I'm gonna be doing that, but it's gonna be giant and huge, and I'm gonna be then dipping it into a giant thing of milk. Let's see if I can do it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more baking videos, even though I fail at a lot of them. And make sure to subscribe and join the Zam Fam if you haven't. Let's see if you can do it in five, four, three, two, one. Comment below, Zam Fam Squad, if you did that. Time to bake a giant cookie. To make this giant chocolate chip cookie, I'm gonna be using six and three fourths cup of flour, three bags of chocolate chips, three teaspoons of salt, three teaspoons of baking soda, two and a fourth cups of brown sugar, two and a fourth cups of granulated sugar, three cups of butter, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, and six eggs. Oh my God, that is a lot of ingredients. That's basically what would make three batches of cookies. So this is gonna be a huge chocolate chip cookie. Also, you're gonna want a very large mixing bowl, some measuring cups and measuring and mixing spoons. So the first thing you are going to want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next you're gonna get a giant mixing bowl and you're gonna add your flour, your salt, and your baking soda. All right, I have this huge thing that is four cups. Ugh. Baking, baking. One of my biggest fears is having kids and then having to bake for them for school. Oh, that seems so stressful. Four, that's two and three, four, so that's Perfect. Now I'm gonna add the salt. Three teaspoons, not tablespoons. I don't know if you guys have made that mistake before, but I have. Oh, one, two, three. Three teaspoons of baking soda. Uh, 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 I think that was one. Uh oh, two. I'm just kind of eyeing it. A lot just spilled out. I might have had a little extra baking soda in. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna set this aside. Needs my second mixing bowl. So next, I'm going to mix my brown sugar, my white sugar, all the other stuff, I think. Huh. Ah. Hold on. Two. Four. Oh, and I think you're supposed to pack the sugar. I don't know why they say that. Maybe just so you can get more bang for your buck. There, that's one. No, that was two. I'm good. Math, it's hard. Sugar, where's my sugar, where's my sugar? Again, it's the same amount as the brown sugar. Oh, he should make it easier to pour out. Two, so close. I think there's more brown sugar even though it's the same because the brown sugar they said to pack it down but you can't really do that with this white sugar. All right, that's it. So for three cups of butter, that is actually six butter sticks. <laughs> you have to have it kind of warm. They say soften, so you can't melt it but you need it soft. So I'm gonna get a bowl and microwave this. One, two, three. Doing three sticks at a time in the microwave because my bowl is not big enough. First bowl of butter. Ugh. Butter's so gross, but yet so delicious. While the other butter's melting, I'm gonna be mixing this butter with the sugar. I can't believe it is butter. I'm a baker, cause I'm baking. <sighs> this is a lot of work, you guys. Round two. I forgot to add the vanilla extract. Three teaspoons. <laughs> I don't think it matters exactly how you do it, you know? One. So, you know. And then I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, eggs. You need to have six eggs. I'm gonna taste this before the eggs go in because you're not supposed to eat the egg dough. This is butter and sugar, it's not that good. Egg number one. Egg number two. Egg number three. Oops, got a shell in there. Comment below right now, you guys, who you think I should make eat this cookie besides me, regardless of if it turns out. Five. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, someone's probably gonna get a shell. I really don't know how to crack eggs without the shell falling in. I just used my 2020 vision to make sure I get them all out. Ta ta. Oh, raw eggs are so gross. Now I'm gonna take that dry mix that I did earlier and I just like pour. Pour it in. I'm gonna do a little at a time. I'm not gonna fail. I'm not gonna fail. What you making? Oh, I'm baking. The rest, my arm's tired. I'm really curious who you guys commented below that you want to have to try this chocolate chip cookie. It depends if you think I'll actually make the cookie or not, if you like the person or not. So I was gonna add walnuts to it, but then I was like, so many people are allergic to it, so I didn't. But then I was like, wait, I'm the one eating this cookie, only me so far. So that, I don't know why. Grand finale, the chocolate chip. Mm. Baking gold right here. One, 
two, three. I'm getting really excited. It smells so good. This dough is bigger than my head. I feel like this dough is gonna break the spoon because there's so much of it. I'm trying to piece you guys. Don't try this at home, kids, because you can get sick because there is raw egg, but I live on the edge. Mm, I haven't failed yet. Mm, whoever eats this is gonna have to eat my germs. Good thing I'm healthy. So now that my mixture is all mixed up and it's ready to go, I have this pan. Okay, so actually I was looking for a cookie tray that was like as big as possible that would fit in my oven and there wasn't any. So what I did is I lined the actual tray that goes in the oven with a bunch of tin foil. It's pretty hard. I think it'll work. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm hoping it will. It's the only thing that would be able to fit this giant chocolate chip cookie, so I had to. Now I'm gonna spray this with some oil so it doesn't stick. Please work. Oh. Normally you roll it in a ball. Start here. Gonna roll it, grab a bunch at a time, I guess. Just making a big old cookie. Feel like I should do like little pockets of them and let them spread out, maybe? Maybe like that, but not too high. There's a real art to making a giant chocolate chip cookie. I don't know that art, but I'm figuring it out. I'm worried that it won't bake because it's so thick. Okay, I'm making a ball, making it round because you have to have a round cookie. It's not as good as if, if it's not round. This cookie is huge and it hasn't even spread out yet. This is my guesstimation from all my baking experience on how big it needs to be in order for it to expand and not completely overflow into our oven. Now it's time to pick this up and put it in the oven to make the biggest chocolate chip cookie ever. I just hope it doesn't break or fall apart or ruin my oven. I am putting it in the oven now. Sweet, sweet chocolate chip cookie. So basically, most cookies you're supposed to cook for like 13 to 18 minutes, but this is a giant one, so I'm just guessing 20, and I'm gonna check it and then add more time until I think it's done. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, it's looking so big. Please don't overflow. Update on the cookie. It overflowed. We had to cut it, but it's now back on, but it looks like it's falling off again, so I might have to cut some more right now. So basically, this is what I've been doing. I've been going like this and cutting the edge so that it does not fall off like that. We're literally using the whole oven for this cookie. I don't know what I'm doing. It's very smoky in here though. Okay, the cookie. Ugh. Oh my gosh. You are so hot and heavy. Huh, hot. <laughs> We're gonna let this sit out for a little bit and then I'm gonna go test it with some milk. So the cookie is cooled down and I'm so excited. I actually put it on a cookie tray that I had but it's bigger than the tray but I was like, this is the only way I can hold it without it completely breaking. So I mean, look at this cookie you guys. It's bigger than my head. And as you can see, I've got a big thing of milk. Now I don't actually drink milk but I love dipping cookies in milk so I don't know if anyone else does that. I don't know how to do this right. Okay, I'm dipping it. Oh no, it's a falling. Come on, cookie, don't die. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna have to break off a piece. There we go. Much better. All right. Mmm, it is really good. This is delicious. Nothing like a little cookie and milk. I wonder how long it would take for me to finish this cookie. Probably a day. Oh! And that concludes me making a giant chocolate chip cookie and then dumping it into milk. And besides the piece that I dropped into the milk, I think it was kind of a success. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but the reason I made this giant chocolate chip cookie is because it was the most requested thing to make from you guys. So I want you to comment below what thing you'd like me to bake next. And Give this video a thumbs up if you like me attempting to bake. I always fail in some way, but this one actually kind of turned out, so, you know, maybe I'm getting better. Make sure to subscribe and join the Zam Fam if you haven't.